Hey guys, this is going to be a review of The Mandalorian Chapter 11, The Heiress, start of this episode, Frog Lady, and I really hate that that's the only name we have for her, um, is reunited with her husband, which is nice, even though we were only with her for a short time, watching the child try to eat her eggs. <laughs> Very, like relieved that she made it to her husband with some of the eggs still alive. We meet some more Mandalorians in this episode, which I think is by far the most exciting thing that happens because we actually learn a lot, even though like it's not discussed at length. I still feel like we learned a lot about Mandalorian culture just from like a short exchange in this episode because they remove their helmets and Mando thinks that they're not real Mandalorians because they've removed their helmets. Then we find out that he's actually been raised in like a very traditional and strict sect within Mandalorian culture and that's not how all Mandalorians think. And this is really interesting because one, it makes Mandalorian society more complex, but also he apparently didn't know that. Like he thought that all Mandalorians believed the same thing that his group did and he didn't even realize that he was in a specific sect. And that's so interesting to me because then it starts like it makes me question a lot of things like he's obviously has the beliefs of this sect but what are the beliefs of the sect versus other Mandalorians so I feel like it raises so many interesting questions. Mando ends up helping them and in exchange for his help Bo-Katan tells him to find Ahsoka Tano and I have not watched the Clone Wars. The Clone Wars have been on my to watch list of TV shows since they first aired, back before streaming was really a thing and it was harder to watch certain shows, so I didn't watch them when they aired and now I can. I think I'm pretty sure they're on Disney Plus, but I'll have to double check. But I haven't watched them yet. That being said, I know who Ahsoka is because everyone loves her and she's a huge reason why I want to watch The Clone Wars. So this is still exciting to me even though I haven't watched The Clone Wars. And I knew it was going to happen because I remember the news about Rosario Dawson being cast. So I knew that she was in the show. but. Still, I'm excited to actually watch it and since I haven't seen the Clone Wars, I've seen clips and things of the Clone Wars, so I am kind of aware of her character and like what she's like and things in the Clone Wars, but I'm very interested to see what they do with her character in The Mandalorian and maybe this will push me to actually watch the Clone Wars now. We'll see. But I think that that's all that I have to say for this episode, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye!